So well, finally, um, we can rest assured that Donald wouldn't be seeking the Oval Office. Um, I, I never was impressed, basically, that he stood a chance. Uh, it, it is very embarrassing to get in my email something from the Trump University, Donald Trump University. I just deleted it because I don't consider him as any authority or any leader or any opinion leader, nothing. So, that, I mean, why would anybody want to name a university after him except he's the patron and paying up the money? But as far as uh, tradition of scholarship or something, I don't think that he has that. So that when he declared that he wants to run for the presidency or he's exploring or whatever, uh, he's based on the rah 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 that happens from the um, the uh, apprentice um, celebrity apprentice show. You see, I think what happens a lot of times that through sympathy and other reasons we listen. Uh, in, 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 you know, with a little bit of enthusiasm for what people have to say, and a lot of times they think that they're saying something worth listening to, but it's just being courteous. And celebrities have this way of um, bumping off his shows and think that you know they're the next thing to um, diamond or gold or to sex. Um, I recall when I was a child, we go to the cinema, and then the guys just wait, and then you hear the whole theater with the uproar when they said like thin red line. Know, the theme of the song, uh, the movie or something like that. And I used to wonder, like, what was it in the thin red line that make all this uproar? And uh, I've been to some talk shows and I see where the, the flawed line like, comes up and applause starts, goes on and so on. And they come with, thank you, thank you. But, you know, it's just a part of the whole thing. And uh, a lot of people take it serious, thinking that it's really worth anything and it's popping and so forth. So that the ratings, perhaps, that um, the celebrity apprentice had hope he thought that perhaps he could translate that into a presidential run. But, I mean, to hook up with the uh, birthday issue. But even if he hadn't hooked up with the birthday issue, this man is trivial. So that he would have trivialized any other thing, any other issue. And so um, we, we could rest assured that um, it won't be some little uh, person with, with, with no sort of uh, experience and who could handle the fires of the political leadership of the United States. So bye-bye, Trump, and uh, may you never come back again trying to tempt the, the, the electorate with your uh, rendezvous and so forth and your exploration committees and all that. Thanks, Trump.